Hey, what up, dogs? Welcome back to Gar Attacks. Click your heroes. Hurrah! Let's get right back into it, shall we? Last episode, we talked about Admin Hotep and how he fits into the lore in a very meaningful way. If you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. Otherwise, we're talking about Beast Lord now. But before we get into that, I kind of want to do a little bit of progression. These past, like, four episodes or something, we haven't progressed, like, basically at all. I've been standing here farming the whole time. So, um... And this is the last episode before I quit making episodes for like a week or so because I'm going on another vacation and I'll be back. But for right now, I just want to see if I can get these nine. Uh, I want to see if I can get these nine hero souls, man. I just want to see where he. Cause oh, look at that. He's getting down pretty low. If I start doing the uh, the 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 stuff on the side here, then he might get down low enough. For us to um, definitely, 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 definitely uh, progress at least a little bit uh, until next time. Let's see. All right, there it is. Oh, he's definitely down. He's definitely down. Oh, I should have done this way earlier. There. I'm gonna go ahead and see how far I can. Oh man, progress in the interim. Period. I could probably get to the end of 2.7 uh, just with this quick storm right here. Bullshit. Oh man, halfway through 2.82, I think. There it goes. Yeah, halfway through 2.28. Well, halfway through until like the next time I have to stop and farm and stuff. So that's really good, actually. But enough of that about that. We're talking about Beast Lord today. First and foremost, he's gilded. So right now you can see his gilded form, I believe. I'm not sure if he had this like bear right next to him before he was gilded. So I think it was just him. He's like a beastie dude. Maybe, maybe some of these frills were gone. He's a little bit more naked and the stab was probably a little bit different too and the bear was gone. So he's a little bit basic. But now since he's gilded, he's super upgraded. He's got a mount now apparently, slash familiar. Um, and also if you can see his face, uh, he's actually like a beast. Whereas before Leon, we were like in between, we we're like, oh, he's just wearing like a cat head or whatnot. This dude is like, that's definitely his face. It's not like a mask or nothing. It's definitely his face. Also, because, check it, check it, check it. He's a god! I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's a god. Also, he's got Lord in his name, so yeah, he's definitely a god to someone, I'll tell you that much. Probably to beasts, but I'm pretty sure he's also just like a literal god. But let's read about him, shall we? Uh, as an abandoned child, he would befriend the beasts in the wilderness. He's now known as the Beast Lord, and his powers are greater than those of any mortal. Okay, so I think he started off as... Okay, so there's the lore right there. I think he started off as a mortal, and he just made friends with all the beasts. And because of that... Some divine spirit of some sort. Maybe a Menotep himself, but some divine spirit gave him, like, immortal powers. Turning him, essentially, into a god. God of beasts, basically. God of animals, basically. So, that's pretty cool. It's good to have someone like that fighting stuff like, you know, rats and spiders. Because, you know, those are technically beasts. So, maybe if he... The Lord of Beasts, these dudes just automatically died because they're like, no, I don't want to fight against my god. That's crazy talk. <laughs> but before we consign to that that lore canon right there, let's see what uh, these upgrades bring uh, Beast Lord into. Boom. And also, the fact that he's more expensive than Manotep, he's got to be a god of some sort. You know? Just a, a Beast Lord god. Beast god. And of course, beasts are inherently, like, good in nature, right? Yeah, I'm not even going to try against that guy. Plus, he's not, he's not a, what's it called? He's not a primal boss, so I don't really care too much about seeing if I can beat him right now. Anyways, so, um, so yeah, beasts are inherently good in nature. Especially bears, too. Bears are very, like, motherly, protective of their young and stuff like that. They're really good stuff. You ever watch Brother Bear Dog? Brother Bear, like, they'll teach you. Bears ain't half bad. They're pretty cool dudes. Ain't hey, Huzel. Let's talk about Beast Lords and his eye in the sky. The birds in the sky can spot when our enemies are their most vulnerable. 
And right off the bat, you can see, all right, so Beast Lord is probably an actual god then, because not only can he uh, control beasts and befriend them, but he can either also he can also either talk to them or just use their eyes to see, which I, I like that one better. Instead of like uh, every so often a bird comes down, and, you know, Beast Lord's like, oh well, birds say that there's an opening and the enemy force is right over here. Instead, he just uses his fucking godly beast lord eyes. And he's like, oh, my, my birds in the sky, I can see with their eyes, and they tell me that there's the weak, weak point right there. There's the weak point right there. Um, which is super, super cool. Uh, and it actually does solidify the idea that, yes, he is a god. So take that. Uh, fuck face. Um, next up, we got uh, critters. Increases DPS by 100. They're small, but in they make up for it in numbers. But okay, so forget the it. So, but they make up for it in numbers and ferocity, which is super true. If you think about it, this dirge beetle right here, and the finkies we fought before, and the, all the different little critters. We probably killed like uh, hundreds and millions of them and whatnot, hundreds of thousands and millions of them and whatnot. If we had that power on our side, well, we sort of do with the Rise of the Dead over here back with Abaddon, but if we had that power while they were alive and they weren't brainless zombies, ooh, that'd be so good. So we do. Yes, the Copernicus is probably just like a plant being the Beast Lord doesn't have domain over. But, and the Goobaloon is probably like a humanoid goblin being that the Beast Lord doesn't have domain over. But all the other like critters that are, you know, beasts, basically, he has domain over and he calls upon them and their ferocity and shit and, you know, takes out the enemy. There's there's a army right behind us. Half of it's zombies that are all the enemy and the other half is critters that are from Beast Lord. There you go. But there you go. Next up, we have Beast Lord's Beast Mode. Increases his DPS by another 100%. As you can see, it is some basically just a bunch of uh, uh, DPS. It's a DPS uh, dude, basically. But um, this one says the Beast Master murmurs an incantation. So they're talking about Beast Lord. So they say he's a beast master, or the beast master. That might be another name for him. Uh, that, or that might be one of the names for him. Beast Lord being literally his like moniker or his title. Whereas like his you know, nickname would be the beast master. Whereas the beast lord, it's like saying, um, uh, it's like calling someone, oh, General. Uh, general Oswald or General Patton. They like, well, right now I'm not a general because I'm off the job. So maybe just call me Mr. Patton or something like that, or maybe just call call me by my first name. How about that? Beast Lord is definitely probably not his first name. It's his title or his moniker, almost like a general. And then some people might just call him like as a cool nickname, the Beast Master. They're like, uh, excuse me, the title is Beast Lord. Thank you. That is the title I use when I am waging war against my enemies. Anyways, the Beastmaster murmurs an incantation. Fur sprouts from his skin. Oh, there you go, as you can see. Quills shoot from his back. Ooh, I don't think we see those, but that's pretty awesome. And uh, he bears his claws and teeth, which bear resemblance to a bear. Oh! So, okay. So he sprouts fur all over the place, which we can sort of see. He sprouts quill on his, quills on his back. And he sort of does kind of look like a bear. I thought it was a lion at first. But it could, it could also be a bear, too. Um, but it's, So technically, it's like this bear right next to him. Or maybe that bear right next to him is him in beast mode. But then again, where are the quills on the back? So it's basically like he's a bear. But with porcupine quills on his back. That's ridiculous. Don't even try to imagine an actual animal like that, because it'll 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 
ima you'll, you imagine it will somehow make it exist in another universe somewhere, and I'd hate for other people to have to deal with something like that, even though they're imaginary people. That is some terrifying bullshit right there. <laughs> um, but that's Beast Lord for you. That is the master of beasts. If I, if I was Beast Lord, he's almost like a, the green dude from Teen Titans. Uh, but if I was Beast Lord, I would not just be a bear with quails on my back. I would also have, like, a fucking long-ass neck, like a snake, with, like, fangs to, like, venomize my opponents. I would also have wings, too, at some point, so I could just, you know, get some even more maneuverability around them. Um, what else? What else? Um, some echolocation. Like, yeah, you can roar like a bear, but that roar can also be like your echo location in case it's like super dark you have nocturnal eyes too just in case you know uh you're you know you're deaf or something you become deaf like your enemy makes you deaf you can do all sorts of things as a beast lord to make yourself super badass quills on the back of bear yeah that's pretty like standard good but also you can do a bunch you get so much potential beast lord dog so much potential anyways next up uh, this is Sacrificial Lamb's Blood, which is interesting, coming from Beast Lord. It says it increases his, the DPS of all heroes by 10%, which is not as much as, like, some of the increased DPS of all heroes that we've seen before. Um, and, and he says, bathe our heroes with the blood of the sacrificed to increase their strength and stamina. Um, yeah, so... The lore on this one right here. Uh, obviously, yes, he's getting sacrificial lamb's blood from somewhere, and the fact that everyone's bathing in it is sort of make. Maybe it's like a instead of a ten percent on all heroes, it just gives some heroes a great amount of power, and some heroes like Brittany Beach Princess. She's like, ugh, blood. It's getting all over my designer shoes. Um, so maybe it lowers her DPS. So it's 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 a it's a choose your own adventure sort of thing so um so yeah some people are into it some people aren't because of i don't know because it's fucking lamb's blood also where does he get this from i'm guessing since he's beast lord he transforms himself into a lamb like takes blood out of himself so like it's like a blood transfusion or blood uh what, what's the what's the word Blood donation donates his own blood to make our own, like uh, our own heroes, super strong. Sure, Brittany Beach Princess doesn't doesn't uh, appreciate it, but some other people do. You know, and it says all heroes too, so it does increase his DPS as well, technically by ten percent. It's a because you know, once again, since it's not twenty percent like some people, it doesn't like automatically make him feel like super good oh everyone loves my lamb's blood that i gave him it was like well not too like you know well some people like the lamb's blood some people don't but i appreciate the people who do so there you go 10 percent instead of 20 percent makes sense and the last thing beast lord does is he teaches us a new ability called super clicks sid is probably super jelly that he didn't teach us this ability himself but also maybe he doesn't know this ability Yes, we can click uh, 10 times per second for 30 seconds, but now those clicks do plus 200% click damage. Not twice as much click damage, mind you. That's plus 100%. That's twice as much. Plus 200% means three times as much. Three times as much damage for 30 seconds uh, for all of our clicks. It's pretty awesome. I don't know where that comes from, Beast Lord. I, I hate to ask, straight up. Uh, it might just be another like godly power that you have that you don't know how you got it because you're actually a mortal who transformed into a celestial being. So I'll just I'll just keep it at that. How you like them apples? So once again, Beast Lord, like actively, what's he doing for us? Actively, he's like looking into his bird eyes. He's be like, oh, there's a weak spot right there, and he sends his critters there to annihilate some dudes. Then he turns into beast mode himself and goes after the dudes as well. Uh, and before and or after all of that, periodically, whenever there is no weak point, I'm guessing, he uh, donates some lamb's blood so everyone can bathe in the lamb's blood. And he'll be like, yeah, everyone's bathing in lamb's blood. That's so cool. And Benny 
Brittany Beach Princess, I guess, is a little funny that she's bathing, even though she doesn't like it. But hey, at the same time, you know, it's, it's super awesome that everyone's doing it regardless. Uh, and then, once again, with the knowledge that we have, that we have learned the super quick ability from him, my man the Beast Lord, just like Beast from Teen Titans. Um, but yeah, that, that's about it. Uh, like, subscribe, comment if you're enjoying the series so far. I know I am, and uh, the next episode, dog, I'm going to come back probably like a couple weeks from now. Yeah, probably like a couple weeks. Nah, probably like next week or so. Yeah, next week, because I'm going on vacation, just like I said. We're going to come back uh, full force, and we're going to talk about Athena, the goddess of war. Rawr. And there's another Greek goddess that we're getting to talk about right there. And obviously she is a goddess because it says goddess in her name. So as you can see, uh, pretty much everyone after Abaddon is probably going to be a god unless they're super, super powerful. Well, as you saw down there, there's Grant the General. So yeah, you'd like to you like to know some shit about him, won't you? Well, you have to wait until after we talk about Athena, Aphrodite, and Shinatobe. So... I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Uh, I have no idea what's going on out there, but I'll try to end the video before it gets too bad. Like, subscribe, comment. Love you. See you guys next time. Peace out. Bye.